Today we're going to talk about a question you guys have asked me relentlessly. I've spoken about it before and you've asked me about it some more. So let's talk about the splitting of timelines. Because there's a lot of people that feel like they're going to get ripped apart from a loved one. There's a lot of people that have created like doomsday scenarios in their mind about the separation of timelines and what that's going to look like. So let's talk about it. Now, just to bring everybody up to speed so that we're all coming from the same understanding. Because there's a lot of information out there and not everybody is speaking the same language. So I'm going to explain this to you from my perspective. What is my perspective? Where does my perspective come from? Well, I'm glad you asked. First of all, if we haven't met before, hey, my name's Kiri Kay. And yes, I do take these crazy tangents because sometimes as I'm speaking to you guys, I can already hear your questions in the comment section. So let me answer those imaginary questions for you, shall I? I remember, and I'm going to do this so quick. I remember a time when I was very sick in this incarnation as Kiri, I was very, very sick as a child and I was in between life and death for a lot of time. And I remember a time that I would best describe as pre-consciousness. That's the pure consciousness of God, of the oneness and the totality that we all come from prior to separation and individuation. I was very aware of myself as the oversoul observing all that is and then I would come back into the body, I would heal, I would recover, I would get sick again. So I was backwards and forwards behind the veil and then in front of the veil. So it gave me some very interesting perspectives. The information that I share with you comes from that place where I saw this all before I came in. And then it took me many years, just so you know, once I had recovered from being a very sick child, so this was now in adult years, it took me many years to integrate everything that I had seen in those experiences outside of the matrix. My job is to bring that information to you because why would it be fair that it's only for me? Why would it be fair? Why would it even make sense? It doesn't that this is for one person. I'll tell you what I do know about that though, which I find very interesting. If I never had a YouTube channel, I would be sharing it regardless, just not in words. My frequency holds the memory. My frequency holds the experience, holds the wisdom. So I would be a broadcast signal regardless but I think that the words help a lot of people, which is, of course, exactly why they're here. So that answers the where does this information come from? Tick that box. The next box is what is a timeline? Again, I'm going to cover this really, really briefly. A timeline is a reality. People talk about multiple timelines. The truth is that we have one timeline, one timeline, but it's doing something that a timeline is not designed to do. It's holding everything right now which is why it looks crazy. And if you and I could stand outside the timeline, we would say to each other, my God, it looks like it's going to pop. That thing looks like it's getting ready to blow because it really does. If you stand outside the timeline and you see what it looks like, you understand this is not designed to hold a timeline. It's not designed to hold all of these frequencies that it's holding. Normally a timeline has a specific set of frequencies in a parameter that creates harmony. Even if the harmony is we all hate each other, there is a harmonious congealed viewpoint per timeline. Normally right now, we've got everything from unconditional love, from peace to war, to hatred, to putrid, toxic thoughts, and then back again to the highest levels of love that we haven't had on this planet for eons. The timeline holds everything. But within that timeline, all of these different frequencies that are coming together, this is why we have the Mandela effect, because everything is coming to the same place. As this all comes together, it's going to purify into two frequencies, two frequencies. The one is 5D, the other is 4D. The 5D timeline, which we would then call the Ascension timeline, when the final split happens, it's at the Ascension point. What is the Ascension point? Again, I'm really glad you're asking great questions. The Ascension point is the moment of the solar flash. That is a great signal from the sun that sends a reverberant wave of cosmic communication right from God to us and it says we're done 
false matrix thanks for playing it's been real we're done new life it is a life within a life 5d is that 5d or I should say the ascension point is that it is that moment where this great solar flash comes from the sun to our heart, to our planet. Some people see it as a shockwave. And I have shared this before and I want to repeat my information. You go watch my past videos. There's many playlists on my channel that explain this. There is an electromagnetic buffer field that erupts from your body as that solar flash comes that facilitates your navigation through that ascension point. Yes, there's going to be a lot of people that perish at that ascension point. Whilst you're undergoing ascension, if you're purifying into the 5D timeline, everything, oh, listen, oh, listen, because this is a question I get asked so much, everything of the false matrix dissolves, resolves, because it's all a hologram anyway. We keep treating it like it's solid stuff. The 3D hologram is no more. So where does the plastic go? It's part of the 3D hologram. Where does the pollution go? <clears throat> right? You get the picture? The 3D hologram fades. And then what we have is Eden, True Earth, New Earth. You pick a name. Earth in her higher consciousness, Earth in her higher frequency. You come out into your 5D ascension with an ascension mindset. A lot of people imagine, I'm going to come out with a 3D mindset and I'm going to go, hey, where's my car? <laughs> You're not going to come out of the ascension process with your 3D mindset. You're coming out as a being of love, on a planet of love. In a frequency of love, that's ascension. That's the 5D timeline. Everything is purified. Okay, but I know the questions. Where do my loved ones go? Where do my animals go? What about the children? Who gets hurt in the process? Oh my gosh, people are going to perish. Did she just say that? Ugh, how do I know if I'm going to make it? Okay, that's the 3D mindset. The 3D mindset will no longer be hosted on this planet because Gaia, the planetary heart consciousness, is raising her frequency to a place where she will only be able to host life in harmony with her. It's going to be one big, happy, connected cosmic family. All right. But then there are those people who are not quite there yet. They're not done playing. At this juncture, I must just remind you who you are. You're an infinite being. So do you know how much time that gives you? Of course, there is no time. It doesn't matter. Therefore, when I say people will then go, if they're veering off into that 4D split, they're going to go into another ascension window. That's thousands of years, but to an infinite being, what's a couple of million years? It's nothing, right? But I want you to really take heed of something that I've said that I notice as many times as I've repeated this information before, nobody comments on. This is super, super crazy important. People talk about the split and the debris and the oh my goodness and the who am I going to lose, but they don't talk about, hold on, did Kerry just say 5D and 4D? Like that, that's it. Those are my options. Where does the false matrix go? Where does 3D go? Ah, these are phenomenal questions. They dissolve. That's why there's such a desperate grab right now from the architects of the false matrix. Yes, there's videos you can figure out who they are. It's called the Archons, Gods of the False Matrix that describes to you who they are. Lots of videos on my channel. Go watch them. Only because it's going to make you smarter and it's going to make you go through this process with less panic and fear and more wisdom to share with your friends. Anyway, as these people veer off into the 4D timeline, they're not going into the false matrix. The grab for the false matrix that we're seeing right now is desperate. It is the death throes of and the dying embers of an old world that once was. And really, it's an unworld. It's an unreality. That's what the false matrix is. It's everything opposite to life. It's anti life. One day I'll talk more freely about exactly what the false matrix was, but we need for um, things to change in order for me to get those messages through. Right now I have to choose words very wisely, right? So 
those going to the 4D timeline are still going to a higher timeline. The false matrix is dissolving. This isn't confirmed, but it's very likely that the false matrix will be no more after this ascension. That's part of what we've come in to resolve. It's not just about you, do you see? It's not just about me. It's not just about the individual. This is about us coming together to do something for the false matrix, to dissolve it so completely. Because how many of you have questioned the same question? And that is, how is this fair? It's not. Yes, we get duped when we come in here because we're told, come on in, it's a playground, you'll have amnesia, but don't worry, you can leave at any time, which is true, you can, but the small prince says, but <clears throat> you have to raise your frequency to leave and you're going to be in an environment where you will forget how to do that, which doesn't mean it's impossible, it just means it's pretty difficult, pretty damn difficult. So we looked at this as the star seeds. And the light bringers and the light bearers and the light keepers. And we said, this isn't okay. This isn't fair. And guess what? We came in to do something about that. This is the nature of how it works in the universe. We don't sit back and go, the government must do something. The galactic councils must do something. We go, I'm going to do something. I'm going to be a part of what I want to see. I'm going to be the change bringer, right? Which is why so many of us came in to be a part of this collapse. Because it's a rebirth. The collapse of the false is the rebirth and the reestablishment of the true. Not necessarily the new, just the true. Those going into 4D are going to go to a planet that looks very, very similar to Earth. I've seen little glimpses of it. It really smells like Earth, feels like Earth. It's a little bit more pristine. There's a lot less of the old broadcast frequency. Because, of course, where we are right now is in a world where the broadcast frequency of the false matrix is collapsed. But we still have it as a memory in the bodies of the human beings, which means we keep replaying it, even though it's not coming in from the outside. We keep remembering and rebroadcasting. So we are, in a sense, perpetuating the false matrix unconsciously. Those going to the 4D timeline, again, remember that's at the ascension split, at the ascension point. This body of theirs will perish. Then they are birthed to new memories. Blank slate. No, not everyone's going to arrive as a baby. No, not everyone's going to arrive on the same day. They're going to get inserted. And this is up to their soul, right? Your soul is a mystical, infinite genius. Your soul can insert you at any point in a lifetime. You might be 20 years old, two days old, one hour old, in utero, whatever. You may come in in any form that your soul deems fit and necessary for you to have continuum into a life. And you will blink and be in that 4D body if that's your path and it will be like you've always been there and all the memories will be already available that's already set up so the 4D timeline will not have a memory of ascension and the fact that they didn't make it and oh my gosh I failed that, that's not their path at all they will have something in them that says kind of like we do with Atlantis they will have something in them that says there was a planet that exploded and that was tragic and terrible and the people died. They will have that. But the truth is that we didn't die. The truth is we were born to the truth of who we were at the ascension point. They will see that which we will know as the, the solar flash that causes the event to happen, that causes ascension to happen. We will know that as the solar flash, the cosmic communication from the sun. They will know that as oh my goodness, something horrific that happened to the planet. They will see that as an end point. We will just see it as the beginning of the true, the beginning of the new. So there'll be something interwoven into them because the memories will be there and we need a memory to justify or rather a story to justify the memory. So there's going to be people who maybe get channeled messages and this is going to show you how not to rely on channeled messages because a channeled message can only meet you where you are at your level of consciousness. Gosh, I could do a whole video on this. But what's going to happen is people are going to get channeled messages like, oh my gosh, there was a planet and exploded and a whole lot of people departed and it was mayhem. That won't be the truth from the higher perspective, right? So where they're new 4D bodies are, where their new 4D world is, their consciousness is going to be, and they're going to start a whole new system. Now, 
Where do children go? Where do the animals go? Please remember, children and animals find it really easy to ascend because they don't have the trauma, the cynicism, the jadedness that the adults have got. This is all, however, chosen before ascension, before birth. So that means that that child has already chosen which path they're taking. And sometimes it's not their level of consciousness. Sometimes it's their commitment to the parent and the parent's growth. Normally, they're going to go to the higher timeline. That's the norm. But each case is individual and each case is exactly that. It's unique. But here's something so important. I want you to get over this idea of, you know, people being ripped apart. And I want you to get over this idea because it's an old false matrix narrative of trauma. It's a trauma program. It's not the truth. We are not going to have a traumatic separation. We're going to have a loving flash of light. And in the moment that the flash comes, boom, there you are. 4D body, as if you've always been there, new planet. There you are, baking potatoes. Don't know why I just said potatoes because I don't eat them, but okay. Um, in the kitchen and the dogs just run through and the kids are playing outside and that's going to be just your normal reality and you'll know exactly who you were as if you've always been there or you're walking out of that 5D bubble into new earth and it's pristine and it's cleansed and it's clean and it's purified. Right? I'm pausing because I want you to really absorb that this is not about loss. This is about choice. This is about you choosing a higher timeline. There will be people who say, look, everyone I know and love, they're going 4D. Here's me. I'm going 5D. And they may decide to go with the ones that they love in order to steer them. They may. Each case is individual, right? So there will be people who are ready for that ascension timeline, but move into the 4D trajectory because they're going to be the soothsayers and the protectors and the healers and the ones holding the path to higher consciousness. There's going to be a lot of people who do that and who choose that role, but it's about choice. Something that will always cement and congeal you into a lower reality as judgment. So when you're looking at the lower paths with judgment, you're on the lower path. When you're looking at the lower path with acceptance, love, peace, ease, neutrality, then you are where you are. It's not going to draw you in. The thing that draws you into a lower timeline is everything of lower vibrational frequency. And judgment is of the most toxic condemnation judgment outrage ridicule all of those energies are very very low frequency and they're going to call you to participate in the thing that you're judging ridiculing even resisting so take the time that you need to really get into my soul has already chosen get into that peace my soul has already chosen and what i'm here to do let yourself know this what i'm here to do is be in harmony with my soul and yes you can always choose again that that would be an amazing thing you could always say well you know what it looks like my soul has chosen a 4d timeline but i can choose again i can re-choose because at this point you still can you still can here's something that's going to happen as we come closer to that split point which we know is the solar flash that's the ascension point as we come closer to that the two timelines these two streams of consciousness are going to start becoming fuzzy and faded to each other. People are not going to see you. You're going to be right in front of them. You're not going to see equally. You're not going to see other people. Things are going to happen in the news that the world is outraged about. It's not going to be a big deal to you because it's not part of your current or your stream. So be aware that they're first going to go invisible whilst still in plain sight. Invisible to each other, but still in plain sight. And that's going to get people used to that separation. And it really is just a separation of frequency. So what determines the frequency is you, your body. Your body is the key code that determines the path that you take. This is not about somebody's going to be plucked from this path or you're going to take the wrong path or your soul got the wrong memo. Your body is already encoded to exactly the path that you're being steered towards. Let me know in the comments below. Did I answer your questions? Because there's been a lot of questions about the separation of timelines, about the separation of realities. I hope so.
Lots of love from my heart all the way into yours. Watch this video next. Speak to you soon.